Hey yo, it's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion and this is an update on Jamal Demons, known as YNW Melly. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. YNW Melly has been locked up for over four years for the murders of YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. They were both killed in October 26, 2018 while leaving the recording studio at 3am with YNW Melly and YNW Borton. According to reports, they were killed inside the Jeep by YNW Melly and then YNW Borton, the driver, drove to a parking lot while they parked there for 30 minutes. In that time, YNW Melly got out of the vehicle and shot at the car from the right side to make it look like a drive-by shooting. This was picked up by GPS on his mobile phone where they actually have a visual of him coming out of the Jeep and circling the vehicle several times. After staying in the parking lot for over 30-40 minutes, YNW Bortland drove the two victims nearby hospital while YNW Melly he ran away from the scene. This also was picked up by his mobile phone tracking device. Apparently evidence on YNW Melly's phone shows that Melly is admitting to doing the act of shooting someone in the head on his phone. Nobody has seen this evidence except for those in court. When questioned, YNW Bortland had a different story for what the evidence shows. According to Bortland, a rival gang drove up beside him and started shooting at the car. When Bortland turned, he said that's when bullets hit the car and that's when the two members were shot. Police did not believe the story. And in terms of motive, YNW Sack Chaser was set to get 200,000 from the label. It meant that YNW Melly was eligible for the death penalty as the crime was motivated by money. YNW Sack Chaser's music career was taken off as well. He had a couple hits such as Tropical and Back End. Further evidence that puts YNW Melly in a bit of trouble is that ballistic reports show that the trajectory of the bullets were coming from where YNW Melly was sitting, which obviously goes against the story they had, which was a drive-by of bullets going into the car, as the ballistics showed the bullets were coming from inside the car and going out. But YNW Melly has been locked up for over four years now due to many delays of his trial. There were reports of him trying to make a break from the jail organized by him and his attorney, which again doesn't give a good impression for the jury when they are actually put together. YNW Melly recently put out an Instagram post talking about how he's been mistreated in jail, saying he has no TV privileges, no phone privileges, and says the deputies are trying to make him crack, and he has no interaction with any other inmates. He believes the deputies are all bad and even named individual deputies. So it's not looking good for YNW Melly, legally or physically. Although his mother has been on social media platforms speaking on how her son is in good spirits, always smiling. The overwhelming evidence does not look good though. Either way, it's a sad story. Two people losing their life and one maybe spending the rest of their life in jail and maybe the death penalty. But what's your thoughts on this? Do you believe YNW Melly is guilty? Do you think you'll ever come out of jail? Or do you think you'll get a death penalty? Leave a comment below. Fresh hip hop opinion. Peace and love.